so glad that I finally made it over here on the entrepreneurship side and started my own press on nail business. My nails are me for the classy and sassy. I love me a good old entrepreneurship video, so I'm so glad I'm actually able to bring this over here on my channel now and start talking about the things that I love and want to do and then bring it to you. So over here, going forward, you're gonna see a lot of entrepreneurship videos dealing with press on nails, how to apply press on nails, how to remove them, and then of course, watching me do some tutorials that's gonna help you you know bring your nails to life all right in addition these press ons are going to be for sale so you will be able to purchase them soon this video is going to be giving you some information for beginners if you're like me who want to start a nail business and some of the things that you're going to need to buy to go ahead and get that thing started all right now that my nails are me is coming from the girl who just loves to have their nails a certain way and not be judged you may be the simple the simple lady who just likes a basic set you know just keep it classy a french nail just keep it classy from time to time depending on what mood you in you may want a little bit extra you know a little bit of sass a little bit of bling so that's where the classy and sassy because everybody got some attitude all women have some attitude in there you know now granted once i show you these items i'm so excited about them but this is the beginning i still have a lot more things to buy but what i did buy i'm pretty happy with that so far um until i actually open it up and you know decide to go ahead and use it if you see that i'm missing something go ahead and comment down below that's one thing that i will be doing is answering your comments and you know talking to you so let me know all right so let's get started now a lot of the things that i bought are going to be for the shipping nail prep actually doing the press on nails and the nail kits so here is the sterile alcohol prep pads these are going to go in the nail kits because you got to have that i needed some nail files these are the 180 grit ones because you know prepping the nails you're going to have to file them at some point and this is my first time actually using the square ones i'm normally using the ones that has the little the round i guess they're called the zebra tips the zebra nail files so i'm curious to see how i'm going to like the straight edge ones so this one is a pedicure bit i bought this one because you know this is something that you can have for pedicures i like the thicker bits on these especially you know getting under your feet and whatnot so this one and all these items came off of amazon um so this one was about 30 dollars or so it has different modes but i love how they come with the different bits on those and it's for manicures and pedicures but i really bought this more so for the pedicure part of it because it's more pedicure bit shapes and they're thicker they can you know go ahead and sand all of that extra dead skin off of your feet and that's what we want summertime ready or just any time of the year you know to be exact you gotta have them feet looking good i bought some extra nail tip boxes i'm not going to keep them like this i am going to be showing you ladies what i will be doing with these these come in a set of four because you can never go wrong with just having some nail tip boxes itself here's some more files some 8080 this is my first time buying the 8080 but you know when you do your nails depending on what type of design or how you're filing them you're going to need a coarser file so i got the 180 and then the 8080 and these are the square ones as well for my nail prep kits i wanted to be different so i did go in with these little plastic clear bags i didn't want to go in with the what are the little ones that everybody use the nylon ziploc bags they come in different designs the holographic one thing about me and that's going to set me apart from everybody else is i love to be different i don't love to do or wear the same thing as everybody else i try to make my own mark set my own trend and you know be different in that aspect so i wanted to find something different 
and this is going to be cute so once i start to go ahead and brand the bags and the items that i bought which is something else that you're going to be seeing on this channel is you know some diy a lot of diy to be exact <laughs> but it's going to bring these bags to life so i did buy these off of amazon as well once you ladies start to watch the video and you want to know where you know exactly to find these different items on amazon then i'll go ahead and start to create like an amazon storefront so that way you can just you know click on the link that i can show you in the video so you don't have to search for it you know sometimes we don't have time to be searching on amazon for stuff in our video you just want to be able to click the link and boom there you go <laughs> this is something that i thought was so freaking cute is some rechargeable led eyeglasses so tell me if you're like me ladies all right now i wear glasses okay so even though the ones that wear glasses listen sometimes we cannot still see as good as we want to especially getting into those fine details you know how it is when you're doing your toes you got to get up on it and make sure you're not getting any polish on the outside and you know just seeing more of the detail I thought these would be so cute for that purpose and instead of you know having because i seen on amazon at first which made me even think of this they had like a footstool for pedicures and they had like this magnifying glass on it and i was like you know what that is so genius because it is so hard doing your toes yourself and then having to bend down and see what you're doing so these um magnifying glasses will definitely help with seeing those fine details and just seeing what you're doing and then also if you're like me on the nail tips itself let me show you hold on um on the nail tips they normally have like that tiny little number <laughs> right there and i can't always depend on looking at the bag to know what size nail tip it is because you may have nail tips everywhere or they may, may end up falling on the floor and when they fall on the floor you gotta go back and look at the little number that's on it so i'm like listen i don't got time for that i can't see as it is so to try to find a little number on this nail tip let me go ahead and put these little bifocal magnifying glasses on so i thought these would be cute and then while i have these in my hand i need it to have all sizes for the nail tips these were some of the ones that i did not have which were the extra the 3x nail tips these are way too long for me that's why i said these would be for the sassy girls who want a little bit of extra you know i'll have it just in case someone asks for them it's always best to have something in stock versus having nothing in stock so I wanted to be prepared for pictures, taking pictures on Instagram. My brand colors are like a teal, fuchsia, purple, and a little bit of white. I know it sounds like a lot, but I want this brand to be nice and bold and bright and catch your eye. I love bright colors. I'm a Leo. That's just one of the things that has always gravitated towards me is color. I love color when i take the pictures on instagram i want you to be able to see that pop on the page that will make you you know be intrigued now this package right here i'm super excited about i have always wanted some of these and i kept saying to myself the next time i order something off of amazon it was going to be this i am not the best yet when it comes with line work but these i feel like it will help me along the way to get better and these are those little liner brushes and they come with four so it's like 24 different colors one two three four five six yes so it's 24 different colors in here ranging from black to red to silver you know different type of colors all of the bright blues and greens and dark blues to yellow and orange and pink and purple you got the white the pinks and the the yellows so these i feel like are going to be super cute when it comes to the fine like line work y'all seen these brushes you know exactly what i'm talking about you see that and then you can just easily just swipe oh 
that color alone right there don't mind the underneath of my nails because i still got to do my nails okay but you see the line right there that is so cute and it's actually really pigmented just that little sample right there the good thing is my daughters are really into nails as well so this is an investment not only for myself but to be able to give them something especially if they are you know interested in doing nails i don't have to go out and buy them separate things as i learn to do it then i can teach them how to be able to do it and if they decide to you know do the same thing when they get older to start to sell press-ons or doing nails they'll already have the foundation to do that so i'm excited now where i'm going to put these i still don't know i'm going to show you at the end of this video so make sure you keep watching what i bought from amazon to store all of these items on so we'll get to that soon let me close this back up first i know you're wondering what am i going to put these press-ons in bam and I told you, I want it to be different. I don't want to do the same thing that everybody does. Now, can you imagine once the branding goes on this box? Just look at the detail of that box, y'all. Can you see the detail? Okay. It is so freaking cute. And I'm not even going to tell you. I'm just going to show you guys what I'm going to be doing to this nail box. Not only am I going to be putting the branding on the box that's going to say my nails are me, but I'm also going to be jazzing this box up. You want to make sure that you make yourself stand out. There's so many people out here, so many ladies out here doing press on nails. So you want to make yours look and your packaging look distinct. So I got a whole box of these from Amazon. Don't worry about the box. That's the one thing with me. I can never just get the dang on box open like it's ridiculous <laughs> it is ridiculous so i'm gonna put these over here cannot wait to actually see the nail sets in those boxes those are super cute so i already have some of this double-sided tape but you can never have enough so i wanted to make sure i had enough so these come in a set of two and they're actually reasonable reasonably priced which is good because this is one of the essential things that you will need for a press on nail business. All right, so here are the bags that I'm going to be using for the sizing kits for the nails. I still haven't really decided yet how I want to do the sizing kits or how I want to structure it yet, but I went on ahead and just purchased the little clear bag to put the, um, the nail sizing kit into this. And then when I'm able to ship it out, I'll put it into this. Now, didn't I tell y'all these colors was going to be cute? When I say bold and classy and sassy, this is what I'm talking about. This is me. This is the brand. My nails are me. Let your nails represent who you are. Who you are is how you wear your nails. How you wear your nails is how you feel, how you look, how you, you know, carry yourself. So, I feel like this packaging would be super cute. And it's bold and it's classy and it's sassy you know a little bit attitude and it's not too much but you know it's just enough here are some storage boxes these are grid boxes because again you are selling press-ons and if you're going to be selling a lot of press-ons you're going to need somewhere to put them if you're going to be doing content creation like myself you're going to be creating so many different sets you're going to need somewhere to put them so these are some storage boxes that i'm going to be just putting the sets in once i finish them and they came in a set of two and they're good quality i really love how these feel which is super convenient you are going to need some labels i already have a label maker and I ran out of the um, label maker ink that I had already. So I had to purchase some more. These came in a set of, I believe it's five in here. Haven't even took it out yet, but you wanna need to label like your boxes, your inventory, um, things like that. Whatever you may need to put a label on, your swatch sticks for your nails once you do your swatches. So these are always good to have on hand. Here's a one-off. I did buy some more. Uh, acrylic nail brushes i was super excited about these i'm just hoping that this brand comes through and 
it's so cute how the brush is. I love glitter, like y'all. I love, love, love some glitter. I think I just love bling, period. <laughs> it's just, uh, you know, it's festive. It's fun. So these are different size nail brushes. So it's one more in here as well. So it's actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven brushes, size 10, four, eight. Yeah, so it goes from size four to a size, oh no y'all, actually goes to a size 16. So this here acrylic brush set goes from a size four up to size 16. I will be doing some acrylic nails as well, some acrylic press on nails. That is something that I want to get into as well because you just want to be able to, you know, have a variety of different ways to wear your press on. So that way you'll be able to sell them accordingly because they'll be better quality, better durability, and longer wear from them. I needed some regular just natural gel polish you know when you do the french nails or any just you know neutral colors for you know whoever may need some these are perfect and it even came with some swatch sticks so i'm going to be doing those so i can get a better idea of how these colors actually look but as you can see it has like some baby pink the nude ranging from like this little darkest purple to white like more baby pinkish colors so this is really cute this was something that i wanted to have in the collection so i'll go ahead and swatch these and then you know i'll be able to bring those out for you guys for you ladies in another video i still do need a lot more nude colors but how many new colors do you think you really need to have when you're starting out a press on nail business? Do you really need to have a lot or do you need to have a good enough amount for all the different shades of, you know, your customers? I had to have some regular big boxes of press ons. Now, these are just some. I didn't want to go too much out the way i want to be able to get my feet in the door go ahead and start to sell them see what sells see what doesn't and then from there i'll go ahead and start to purchase more i don't want to purchase two more then you know for whatever reason i'm not selling these items so these are the big boxes for more sets for, so for any ladies that want to buy multiple sets at a time or may want to buy um one pair of nails and then a toenail set i could put all of that in here you know so these are really cute and i am so excited because i'm gonna be jazzing these boxes up to branding them putting my logo on them as well so just stay tuned y'all y'all gonna see a lot of things on this channel and i'm excited to show you here are the cuticle pushers <laughs> and as you can see they are not the the cardboard ones the wood ones i like the wood ones but again y'all you have to be able to set your brand apart and do things differently these have glitter in them and you know if you're just the type that loves doing things above you're going to find things that's going to be above than what everyone else is using and i think that's probably why i haven't started this press on nail business sooner than now is because i have just been trying to find the right things to use and not you know go overboard with purchasing expensive things just to make it so that i'm not you know being like everyone else so i finally just went on ahead and said you know what i'm just going to go ahead and just jump out there i'm just going to stop being picky i can't really have everything that i want right now in the in the manner that i want it i just have to get started so these are things right now that's going to help me get started. So if you're feeling the same way and, you know, you don't want to really start your press on nail business because you don't want to have everything that everyone else has, find little ways to tweak it and make it your own, which is what I'm going to do. But at the same time, it's still going to be cost effective and not be, you know, outrageous where you're spending so much on packaging right now. And we really don't know how these things are going to be selling. But we are going to hope for the best. They are going to sell. But you know what I mean. Um, this is some Model 1's acrylic powder. And this is also neutral. 
because you want to have neutral colors so i made sure that i got some neutral gel and some acrylic and this is more so like the same colors that i just showed you in this one right here you have your white like your beige your baby pink it's more like a um a coral and then another little pink right here and then like another little brownish color so these bottles are pretty small i thought it was going to be bigger but that's one thing with amazon the pictures on the screen look so much bigger than what the packaging actually is because i thought these bottles of acrylic was going to be bigger than what it is so what i have started to do and getting better at is looking at the measurements of the item that they're showing you and putting the measurement in front of you so that way you can kind of get an idea of what you're really buying because if you just go by the picture you're going to be fooling yourself every time and not only is that important for you know the size of what you're buying but it's also going to be important for your packaging because these are six by nines so depending on what you're going to be putting in these you want to make sure it fits <laughs> so you can't have something that you're buying that's going to be this size because it's not going to be able to fit in your 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 millers okay so as an entrepreneur you know you have to be mindful and not be wasting money and having to return things and sending things back because you may need it in a sensitive manner for a customer sensitive time manner and you don't have time to be you know running back and exchanging things you got to get that order done this is one of the other purchases that I bought. Now I know you probably are wondering why I have so many boxes because, listen y'all, I'm gonna be coming up with some things for this business that I am super excited about. A lot of things I'm probably not gonna show y'all just yet. I have some special things planned for these boxes. I don't wanna give away too much yet because I wanna make you excited and you know give you some inspiration once the time comes. But let me show you what i bought from amazon so hopefully you made it this far in the video i am super excited if you did go ahead and hit the thumbs up hit the subscribe button if you're wondering i already have a lot of nail tips that i purchased in the past when i first started to do this press on nail business but i didn't go forward so i didn't have to buy all nail tips i already have a lot of those but i did not buy nail glue <laughs> so like for these nail kits I'm supposed to have some glue in here. I didn't buy the nail glue. So I still have to go back on Amazon and buy that. But let me go ahead and show you what I bought to put all these things on. Okay, so this is what I have been operating off of as far as, far as my nail cart. I, pur I purchased this off of Amazon uh, a year, a couple years ago. Y'all see I DIY, DIY my little stickers on the nail cart so I can, you know, just make it look a little better. So in these carts, in the inside, just have some stuff. That's the, the label maker that I was telling you that I already had. So I just got the ink for that. This drawer right here is full of nail art. Um, that's why I keep like all my nail files and things. All of these dangle nail tips. Now, that's, this is why I didn't buy any nail tips, okay? This whole drawer right here is filled, so I don't have to buy any of those. I just need to organize them. That's the problem, all right? So, this is some poly gel, some little knickknacks in there. All of the different gel polishes and, you know, things. Um, This is, like, some transport foils and little... The little stands right there for the press on nails some spray now these are the cuticle pushers that i was telling you about the little wooden ones i really don't want those i don't like those they work they get the job done but just not my style my drill and then down here is like all of the glitters where i'll be putting the acrylic powders that jays so this is the Cricut that I'm going to be using for all of the branding for the products, the nail boxes, the nail kits, the nail prep kits. This is the um, the box and the area, nail dryer, some of the little nail pads. I still have to get this whole area. I've been trying to get this area uh, cleaned up for like the last two days or so. This here is a deep fridge. I do have my main channel rolling with the fans. 
so if you don't know this is not my main channel i do have a cooking channel that i have with my family of six so go ahead over there i'll put the link above but yes yeah, so this is the deep freezer haven't even opened it yet so this is going to be the area where i put the cricket now this is the stand that i bought from amazon so go ahead and you know organize this nail this nail table situation a little bit better um i'm going to be putting all the products on here from the nail boxes to you know all of the inventory to be able to sell the press ons right now it is you know all over the place still i got that box up there that i have a lot of like you know diy stuff so tomorrow i'm going to go to um Ross and dollar store and to buy some like little baskets or something to be able to organize all of the things that i just showed you guys so the next time i come back and do this video it's going to look a lot different in this area but i just wanted to show you like a before and an after of how it's looking right now and then when i show you this area again how we got things organized okay it's okay to see the before but it's better to see the after and this is where we're at so that's why I said, go ahead and subscribe because you never know if you're going to see me today, tomorrow, the day after that. But I want y'all to learn from me, you know, take some tips, take some advice. And most importantly, if you like any of my designs in the future, go ahead and place an order. <laughs> but I'll see y'all later. Bye.